In this video, you'll learn how to create a simple backdoor to Linux in Bash. So as an alternative to SSH copy ID, we can build our own script, and I'm going to show you how to do that here. I'm going to nano install, create my script, let shebang to invoke our specified shell. I'm going to declare a variable called key, and this is where you're going to put your public key. And as an alternative to if, else, fee, as our clauses, we can simplify our conditionals with brackets. I'm first going to see if a folder exists. And if it does, I'm going to let the user know. Else it doesn't, and I'm going to make the directory. Now I'm going to check to see if a file exists. And if this file exists, I'm going to let the user know that the key file exists. This authorized keys file is a file where all of the permitted keys are stored. Right, and if it doesn't exist, we're going to go ahead and create it. So now that we have the file, we need to declare it as a variable so that we can actually play with it. And to make sure we don't put our key into the authorized keys file more than once, we're going to grep out a query for our key inside of the file. And if it does exist, we're going to tell the user it exists. Else it doesn't exist, and we're going to put our key in the file. And at the end here, let's echo out finished. Go ahead and save our file. Now let's run it. All right, cool. So we see that the key directory exists, meaning that the folder exists where we store our keys. We see the key file exists, which is the file where we store our keys, and our little message at the end saying it's finished. Let's take a look at the file. Hey, we have our public key. Very good. Now, say we want to remove that public key. Let's write a script to remove it. And just like before, we're going to shebang to invoke our specified shell. Let's create a key variable. And if I don't call this public key, it's not going to actually search to remove the public key. It has to be spelt exactly the same. And because we know the authorized key file exists, we're going to create a variable for that. So I'm going to sed and execute multiple sed commands. And what we want to do here is we want to get that key as it's represented in the file. Global substitute on our input file. And that's going to go ahead and remove our key out of the file. Um, but what will happen is you'll have these empty spaces, right? So let's go ahead and get rid of that. So we're going to sed again. And we're going to add some fun syntax here and add our delete line to our file. So that will go ahead and delete all of our empty line breaks in the file. Next, we can tell the user, all done. Go ahead and save it. We're going to run it. All done. It passes. No errors. And let's go ahead and cat that file. Hey, looks good. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more.